You. Yay! We are back between two mugs. They're <laughs> actual mugs again. We're actually not between the mugs. We are because we are slightly outside of the mugs. I brought my tape measure so Jen and I stay safe. We're six feet apart. And I took your, your tape measure, so I've got it. I bring this everywhere I go. I'm gonna wash this. Oh, anywhere I go. Good. I have the tape measure with me and I'm safe. I want you to have that on so a hat. You can get that over your I will try. I'd love to have this on a hat. But now, I'm, now I'm gonna wash again. Okay, so we're outside of two mugs today, but we're elated <laughs> to be inside the church, inside the coffee shop, back on set and talking to you guys and Someday soon we'll have a guest in here and um, everything will look like it always looked, but until now it looks exactly the opposite as it's ever looked. But that's okay. Yeah. I'm smiling that you don't know. Yeah. I could be making terrible faces at you, but you have no idea. Which is kind of fun. <laughs> so we wanted to come into the coffee shop and tell everybody what church is going to look like on Sunday because my family was there last Sunday and Jen's family was there the last Sunday as well. But before we get to that, we wanted to fill everybody in on what we've been up to uh, since we've last been in this coffee shop. What well, have you been up to? Well, and even since we've last been on Zoom, because we had we we did try to sure. Zoom for a minute, oh. but then we also had to have a bit of a, a hiatus. We did have a because hiatus. Because I had some really big news in my family. We had a brand new arrival. It's an addition to the family. Congratulations. We are so excited. It's a boy. Boy. We finally have a boy after three girls. We've got a boy. His name is Ross. He is a squirrel. He is an eight week old fox squirrel. Um, and he is the most magical creature ever created. And I say that knowing full well that I have three daughters. Congratulations to your family. Thank you. He would have been here, but this is now. Right. I want him to come on the show. Oh, he will next time. Yeah. I'm afraid of squirrels. Keep the squirrel six feet away. He um, jumped onto one of my daughter's faces today from. No, nope. I think mean, about Ruby. He was here. He jumped right over here, claw in the face. No, to be fair, she looked like a tree. No. It was her own fault. That sounds like an injury, and I'm pretty wary of um, extreme activities right now. Because so yeah, so what? Did, so you took up some new hobbies. Yeah, I took up some new quarantine. hobbies. Uh, my husband bought uh, one of those one wheels, which is basically a skateboard that um, supposed to self balance when you stand on it. Wait, did you mention that it's motorized? It's motorized. It goes 18 miles an hour at full speed. Um, but it turns out even trying to stand on it is extreme because I, I gave it a try one Sunday before home group uh, in our driveway. And I stood up on it. And I was feeling really confident. I fell back. I broke my wrist. And after all this quarantining that my family has been doing, I landed myself in multiple emergency rooms, experienced surgery, and, and now in and out of physical therapy. But the medical staff, like we said on our prayer, that, mm -hmm. that we did our prayer, uh, National Day of Prayer, thank you. You guys are taking so much care of us with the virus that's going around and also just our daily, day-to-day. -day. Like, what, what if you get bit by a squirrel? What would you do? Yeah, I, I, I don't even know. They're there for you. Yeah, and I have to explain right. what happened. Just like you had to, I'm sure, explain multiple yeah. times yeah. what you did. And where's the one wheel now? The one wheel soul. The one wheel soul. Because <laughs> can we also mention who else in your family was injured? On My husband wheel? was injured. Multiple scab wounds. Wait, was multiple lacerations. And multiple I, lacerations. And I made fun of him. Yes. Yeah. But, but look, she can hold a pen now. I can hold him up. Oh, gosh. Okay. That makes me a little nervous. Please be careful. Oh, and she rotated. Like, yeah, she could not do this before. Let's talk about Sunday. All right. You know, it's good to talk about Sunday because you and I have two different versions of Sunday. I was early mm -hmm. and your family was late as always. And were you worried about being late? Because you know was, they're taping live. Oh, I was freaking out about it and yelled at everyone. Okay. My family. So this is good because you can still come even if you come late. It works out. Yes. You can still come late. You can still come and yelling at your family. Yes. Just like every other Sunday. Okay. <laughs> so you're going to get out of your car. And there's going to be uh, a few graders waiting for your arrival. Um, there's going to be someone on a walkie-talkie, and they're going to say, here comes some people to church. And they do that because they want to let people ahead of them know that people are arriving, so everyone's ready. So you're going to get out of your car. You're going to be greeted with a friendly face, and you don't even have to touch the door. Nope. It's Someone, open for you. Yeah. Someone's going to open the door. They might even open both doors. Yeah. Full uh, service, y'all. Full service. Full service. 
You're gonna walk into the building and at that point you will be offered a mask if you didn't bring one yourself. So if you have one from home, feel free to grab that one. Um, if you need an extra or you forget, we've also got some here available as well. So you'll be offered the mask opportunity and then what? So then- Can you just walk in? No, you can't just walk in. Um, so somebody is going to lead you to your seats. So the seats are all six feet apart and they are in different configurations based on family size. So there's some two seats and then there's some four, there's even a five for like someone like me who has an abundance of children and squirrels so that you can have plenty of room. They will lead you to your seat. So you're gonna follow the usher or greeter to wherever you're supposed to go. Like Jen said, full service. And if you are having an argument with your family, you could request to be seated separately. You could. I mean, there's plenty of room now. Right. There's, you can go all over, so much room. Yes. Yes. In the space, in your own little areas, you've got plenty of room to pass things to your kids, to yell at them when they're talking, to point, to say, you're Wait. being recorded right now. But that's just it, you're being recorded, so you can't you can't fully yell. No, 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 and, and you have a mask, and so they, they have can't mask. see the gritted teeth. Right. right, so lots of hand motions. Right, lots of but hand you've motions. you've got room for that now, so it's fine. So we will be taping, and it will be live. So we won't be able to do a lot of talking to our family because the live video is still happening because we do have an at-risk population that's been identified. If you've got medical problems or if you're 65 years and over, you might be choosing to stay home and watching the service from there because you might feel that's safer for you and your family. And if you do choose to do that, you're gonna be watching live like we've been with activities. So if you think they can enjoy the service and kind of sit still and listen, bring them along. But we're, I'm gonna make some quiet books. For my kids, which right. I haven't done since forever ago when they were like little toddlers. So it's, actually, I'm kind of excited about it. I think it'd be kind of fun. When the service is over, it's, it's not going to be like it, it used to be. We're not going to be milling around inside the sanctuary. We're mm -hmm. actually going to be um, told uh, in what order to exit the building. So we're going to be kind of ushered out just like we were ushered in. So it's an orderly fashion and it'll keep everybody safe and we will always be maintaining our six feet, so we won't even have to worry. Just check those worries at the door, because there's lots of precautions that we're taking here, and you are going to feel you're going to feel blessed, and you're going to feel safe. But you're also going to be blessed at home if you're able to watch that service as well. Yeah, no, no matter what, you're still we're still all together, and we're all still a part of it. So whether we are physically here or virtually here, yes. you're all still together. Yeah, but we're here in a coffee shop right now, which is kind of amazing. I know we haven't been here since the last time we were going. Yeah. So this is kind of amazing right now. Yeah. We have coffee mugs, yeah. no actual coffee, because, you know, you can't drink it right now. But So how about this? Wherever you're watching this, wherever it's posted, how about comment below and tell us how you like your coffee. Oh, I like that. Have your coffee needs changed at all since all this has started? No, still black. Do you still drink the same amount? Or have you changed? I still drink the same amount. I feel like I drink a lot more, and maybe even more sugar. Whatever, I can stop when I want to. I don't have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> hey, see you Sunday, maybe, maybe not, but we're excited that we're able to be back together in some way, shape, or form. So see you soon. Cheers. Cheers.